Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are continuing our coverage of uh, the NFL win totals. We're going division by division. It's mid-June right now, and uh, Troy West, of course, really proven himself over the years in our videos. Just to toss out something right now, 23 and 10 against the spread in the NBA playoffs, which we are in the midst of um, right now. So, Troy West, thanks so much for being back with us. Right now, we're going to cover the NFC North. Thanks, Peter. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's just been an outstanding run, not only with the SBR Videos, but at my website, allplayswin.com. Consistent winning and consistent customer service. People are a breath of fresh air for handicapping services out there. And I truly believe that these, these future bets that we've been doing with you guys for quite some time, I truly believe there's value in it. And I'm, I just cannot believe that the NFL is right around the corner. Couldn't be more excited to be covering it with you guys again this year. All right. Well, the NFC North will start with Green Bay, right? Now, they had 12 wins last year. Uh, the win total right now is 11 plus 100 currently at Pinnacle. Now, if you told me right now that guaranteed Aaron Rodgers would be healthy the whole year, the over, I think, is a great bet. But, you know, if Rodgers goes down... Your futures bet on that over 11 is, is probably screwed. So maybe you never want to take an NFL team where the quarterback is such a huge part of the team as Rodgers is on an over with such a high total. The rest of the, you know, the, the Green Bay didn't do much in the offseason. They didn't really have to. The core is still there. He might, Rodgers might have the best offensive line of his career. His weapons on offense are, are, are all back. The defense took some hits for sure. But, you know, if they're average, Green Bay win. If they're average and Rodgers is healthy all year long, Green Bay wins at least 11 games, probably more, right? Yeah, I would go over. I will go official with that. I do think they could land right on 11 if, if they don't have a great year, but I do think they're at least an 11-5 and five team. Got to remember, this is a, a very, very weak division. They get a, uh, some games that are really, I would say, cupcake games, free wins, so to speak, with teams like the Chicago Bears, right? You're getting free couple of wins throughout the course of the season. And like you said, Pete, if they stay healthy, this is a team that was an onside kick away from beating Seattle in Seattle and progressing on into the Super Bowl. So this is, this is a really good team. Aaron Rodgers seems confident as ever. He's got all his weapons back, like you said. They've got a running attack. Defense, I do think, will be a little bit weaker, weak enough to fall below 11 wins. Highly, highly doubt it. I'll go over with the 11 wins. And then Detroit and Minnesota, two very interesting teams, right? Detroit off of a season where they won 11 games. Their win total right now, though, is 8.5, juiced to the under. And then Minnesota coming off of a season where they won seven games. Their win total is seven, getting way, getting bet way up. It's uh, currently over seven, minus 190 uh, at Heritage. And we can understand why that is, right? Detroit probably, in general, they tend to underwhelm and, and underperform and disappoint. And their defense has got to be taken a huge hit. It could go from, you know, one of the top defenses in the NFL to one of the worst this year. And then Minnesota might, you know, they've got a new, you know, they're, they've, uh, Coach Zimmer is defense-minded. They look like they had a very good draft. They've got a lot of new faces, especially on defense. Adrian Peterson is back. We can assume that he'll be as good, roughly, as his top level at 30. And Teddy Bridgewater played very well for a rookie. They had a lot of close losses. So maybe Minnesota is one of these under-the-radar NFL teams that will be uh, a little bit better than expected and maybe want to bet the over uh, seven wins, even at minus 190. Two interesting teams, Detroit and Minnesota. What do you think? Uh, have, what do you have to say about either of those teams, Troy? Yeah, I'll give you official leans on both. No official okay. plays. But I, I do think I do think this Detroit team is obviously going to take a step back. Anytime you lose your defensive leader, and Adonis McSue, you're, you're going to take a step back without a doubt. They lose Reggie Bush, not that he was an impact player, but another offensive weapon that's no longer around. I still think their offense could be good, but another year for Calvin Johnson. What, what kind of help will he be? Will he be Megatron or will he be Calvin Johnson? I think this Detroit team takes a step back. I could see them right around eight wins, maybe push that nine-win mark. Moving over to Minnesota, Pete, this is a very much improved Minnesota team, without a doubt. You put Adrian Peterson back there. But, Pete, as much as we love Adrian Peterson, what are you going to get from him this year? Is he going to be yeah. the MVP of a few years ago, or is he going to be kind of mediocre, kind of getting his right, legs right. back and whatnot? And, and I love Teddy Bridgewater. I think he's a good quarterback, but is he good enough to get them over the hump? In the end, I do think Minnesota is an 8-8 eight eight team. I really do, but would I be shocked to see him be 7-9 and nine and miss the playoffs? Absolutely not. It's a very tough. They have a tough schedule. They got to play Seattle. They got to play Green Bay twice. It's a tough schedule for Minnesota. So I'm going to stay away from Detroit and Minnesota. But I would lean under on Detroit and lean over on Minnesota. Okay. And then Chicago, you know, uh, Chicago is Chicago. Pretty clearly the worst team in this division, right? Their uh, win total, though, is still seven. It's heavily juiced to the under, but not that heavily. It's a seven plus 130 on the over, minus 150 on the under. You know, 
they're stuck with Cutler at quarterback, and uh, you know we know the deal with him. Don't have to go into it. They are switching to a, a new three-four defensive scheme. Maybe that'll play some pay some dividends, but it seems like they just don't quite have. Um, the personnel to get it done right now. They seem like at best they're mid-level rebuilding mode and uh, you know five wins last year. Win total is seven under minus 150. Do you think the under might be a good bet or is there any reason to believe that Chicago is going to uh, actually play, finish 500 this year? No, I'm going to I'm going to go official here, Pete. I'm uh, going to go under. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go under. I, I think this is a six-win team at best. This is a team that really did nothing to improve in the offseason, Pete. You lose Brandon Marshall. Obviously, yes, he was hurt for a lot of last year, but still that's been Cutler's go-to guy over the past few years. That receiving core really drops. Yes, Jeffries is a great receiver, and Bennett's a great tight end slash receiver, but that team does take a, a drop. I truly believe that. Forte, obviously a good running back, but when you're running behind a poor offensive line, you're in trouble. We know how bad Cutler how bad these fans want him out. It's really tough to perform at a high level when you don't have the backing of the fans. John Fox, I think, is a breath of fresh air for this team, and I do think they'll get it going in the right direction. But defensively, you have no one to speak of. Offensively, very, very poor. I think they're 6-10. and 10. Tough, tough to go play Green Bay twice. There's some tough, tough games against Minnesota like we talked about, and they have a tough non-conference schedule as well. So I would say 6-10. and 10 for the Chicago Bears. Okay, a very interesting division, the NFC North. What do you want to go official with, Troy? I'll go official over Green Bay and official under with the Chicago Bears. All right, right now at Heritage, uh, Green Bay over 11 is plus 100, and uh, Chicago under 7 is minus 150. If you shop around, you might be able to get a little bit better than that. Those are just Heritage lines. Troy West from allplayswin.com. Thanks so much.